Before we get into three phase connections though, I think I should explain phase displacement and also the different possible connections that you can have. Basically, there's only four possible connections. In other words, from my high to my low side, from my high to my low side, I can have a Y, Y, okay? I can have a delta, delta. I can have a Y, delta, and a delta, Y. Okay, those are the four possible connections. Now, there's many, many modifications, though. I could give you uh, a connection every day throughout the entire program and probably never make the same one twice. But you can boil them all down to four basic connections. Like I say, you can go through different displacement, different system voltages, different coil voltages, different taps, different displacement, and all that sort of thing. So you can make up a lot of connections by the time you, you go through every possibility. Uh, in fact, you, you, by the time you go through different sizes and so on, I don't suppose you ever would get to the end of it. But when we talk about phase displacement, I showed you the sine wave. You're working with alternating current now. Uh, when, we, when I draw a sine wave, and I'll, I'll draw one in that looks like this. When we draw a sine wave, that represents electrical degrees at uh, any given, given time. Uh, in fact, that's a period of time. That's, that's one cycle. Uh, if, if through my phase displacement, there is no shift in the electrical degrees from the high to the low side, then that's a zero degree displacement. There is no change in the sine wave relationship to as far as time is concerned. Uh, we're, we're talking about electrical degrees here. If I have zero degrees and 90 degrees and 180, 270 and zero or 360 out here, you see, we'll let that represent the high side. If I go through and after my transformation, I end up with a shift, then, uh, then, I've, then I've got a phase displacement. And, of course, you can take all of them 180 out, and I'll get through that in a little bit. But if I take the least possible displacement with all of these connections now, if I take the least possible displacement, I can have a zero degree because of the vector relationship here. I can have a zero degree here. On the delta delta, I can have a zero degree. On the Y delta, my least possible displacement is 30 degrees, and I'll explain that in a little bit. And same way with the delta Y, my least possible displacement is, is 30 degrees. Now, zero degree would mean my uh, voltage will be different on my low side, but it will be in the same time frame. In other words, my zero degree, it would be, say, a different value, but it would go through uh, zero and 180 and zero at the same time, or it'll peak at the same time. Uh, yet that's possible because of the vector configuration that I've got. And, and like I say, you just, you know, I'll have to draw vectors to show you how that works, but we'll do that in a little bit. Now, with the Y delta and the delta Y, I can, I'm going to have a uh, 30 for the least possible displacement. So if I was to draw the 30 degree in there, it would look something like this. In other words, after my transformation, I'm going to get a shift in time of my phases. Now, where this is important is when it comes into a situation where you have to tie your phases to, uh, say I'm feeding from two different systems and I want to tie the phases together. If they aren't in the same phase displacement, then I can't tie them together because voltage-wise voltage -wise, there's a difference. You can't tie them together. Anytime there's a potential difference, voltage causes current to move. So if I have a voltage difference between them, there's going to be current flowing and there's a short. See? They have to be in the same phase displacement. 
when you when you have two feeders coming out from two different substations and you have a point where you can tie them together they have to be in phase you have to have the same phase displacement all the way down the line right to that point before you can tie them together there's exceptions you can go through uh, phase transformation you know uh, phase shifting transformers and that kind of stuff, but there we won't worry about that till we get into metering. Um, what what the utilities will do is is always always go for on their on their substations and so on through all their transformation. They will always um, try go for this for the standard displacement. Now, if everybody goes through the same transformation and everybody uses standard displacements, then it's going to be possible out there, even from one utility to the next, to uh, phase together. As long as the impedance is such on your circuits that there's not going to be that much voltage difference, you can tie together. So we'll do, we'll do more work with that. Now, we call this least possible displacement standard. Those are the standard displacements. Now the alternate, the alternate displacement, I can, any of them you can go 180 out, which means current flow is just in the opposite direction, but all of those I can go 180 out. And, and I want to show you how to work with, uh, with vectors a little bit. That means I could be zero degrees or 180, zero degrees or 180, 30 degrees or 210, and 30, degree, 30 degrees or 210, like this. Okay, those are degrees. So those are the possible displacements. When we say standard, when, when you look at your connection and you see, when you see a, a YY, for example, and you're asked for a standard displacement, you know you're gonna, you're gonna you're, through your transformation, you're going to have a zero degree displacement. Or on the Y delta, you see, or delta Y, you know that the least possible displacement is 30 degrees. Okay? Now, if I was to show you what a, what a 210 degree displacement would look like, you'd have a diagram that would look like this. Now, this is 180, you see. So 210 is going to be down the line about in here somewhere. And you're going to have a phase that'll start up there, and it'll look something like that. Uh, 180 out from that, you would have uh, you would have 30 degrees, see, and it would be equal and opposite to uh, the other. In other words, uh, anytime you're 180 out, any anytime you have a diagram 180 out, one's 180 degrees down from the other, and you've got just equal and opposite uh, current flow, you see. And of course, 180 out on three phase. You'll see. We'll talk about uh, we'll talk about that too. But you see, you go 180 out, your motors will go the other way, and that sort of thing. 